Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's video. I am going to do a May TBR, even though a lot of the books that I will mention are repeats from last month. Uh, not all of them are, and also there are three readathons happening this month, and I want to participate in them all. And they're all month long. This is gonna be crazy. There is the Desert a thon happening, there is the Medieval a thon, and there is a May the 4th Read With You readathon happening. <laughs> and I'm not gonna go through every single prompt and every single book that I am doing. But I will say I am on Team Elephant for the Desertathon, purely for this. And then I am going to be a blacksmith for the Medievalathon. I'm going to train as a blacksmith. And for the May the 4th Read With You Readathon, I will be on the Jedi side. So, that's what I'm going to say. Now I'm just going to quickly go through all the books that I want to read. However, I will say I do also have a vlog that I am planning for the last two-ish weeks of May with books that are not going to be included in this video. So it's, I guess it's a secret TBR. I've never done one of those before, but I am very excited to do those vlogs and I hope they go well. Uh, but I have a huge stack of books here to read before I get into those vlogs and the books that I'm gonna read for those, which again will not be mentioned here, but I got plenty of books to keep me occupied for the first two weeks of May. <laughs> I am currently reading Curse of the Specter Queen and I've been reading this physically for a while. I've just been doing a lot of audiobook listening to rather than physically reading, but I'm going to try very hard to turn my attention to finally finish this. I'm like over halfway. I'm almost two-thirds of the way through, so I'm hoping I can just sit down and read a whole chunk of it and hopefully I will finish this soon. Then I am also reading Magic Lessons. Uh, by Alice Hoffman and this I have the audiobook for so I'm kind of going back and forth between just the audiobook and reading the audiobook and reading it physically together. Um, it's not too long so I'm hoping I can finish it soon although the audiobook feels longer than it should for a book this size but this is one that I am current I have started but I'm also listening to other audiobooks as well. I am also currently reading the third book in the Three Dark Crowns trilo trilogy series. In the Three Dark Crowns series, I'm almost done with the third one. I'm hoping to finish it soon. And then I will pick up the fourth one and be done with the series. I have them both on audio, so hopefully I will get that done soon-ish. <laughs> so those are ones I am reading. I also have the fifth book for the School for Good and Evil series. Uh, it's a very long one, so it'll take me a while to get through, but I once I start listening to the stories, I never want to stop. I'm, I've consumed them so quickly, so I'm very excited to read the fifth book in this series. And then my April book that I bought was The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O. I've been wanting to pick this up and looking at it as if I'm going to pick it up, but this month, hopefully, I will actually do it once I finish my current physical read of Curse of the Spectre Queen. This will be the next thing that I pick up physically. I don't have the audiobook for it, so it will just be purely physical, and I am very excited for it. The next one kind of intimidates me a little bit. It's another repeat, but that is Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. I do have the audiobook for this, so I can read them together with the audio and the physical. It is such a gorgeous book, but it's a little long. So I'm kind of intimidated by this book, but the audiobook expires soon, so I do need to get moving on this one as well. I'm going to be reading so many books this week, it's insane. Then the new one, a new, a new book for the TBR is People We Meet on Vacation, because Emily Henry's third adult romance book comes out on May 3rd, uh, so after this video has gone up, but before, you know, it... Today is May 2, so <laughs> it comes out tomorrow for me, but because this video goes up. So I'm really excited. I want to read this and then also read Book Lovers. I think I want to read this one first because it is her second book. It is Friends to Lovers, which is not really my favorite romance trope. Enemies to Lovers is, and I loved Beach Read. So I want to read this 
before I read Book Lovers, and uh, hopefully I will like them both, because I think if I read Book Lovers, it will, I think I will like it better than People We Meet on Vacation, so. But I'm hoping to read this to get me into the summer mood. It's almost summer, I only have a couple weeks left of work, and I work in a school setting <laughs> as a baker, <laughs> so. Summer is coming soon, it has been sights, so within my sights, so I'm getting prepared by reading a very summery book. I have two other audiobooks that I'm going to be getting through this month. The first one is The Blade of Secrets by Trisha Levenseller. I knew from the first time I heard the description of this book, a blacksmith, a female blacksmith with anxiety. I knew I was going to love it, and so I have been wanting to pick it up. It's one of those books where I was like, I'm going to buy it and then I'm going to read it because I know I'm going to love it. But I've decided to get the audiobook for it, read it, and then buy it when I do love it because I'm so excited for it. And then the second audiobook that I recently got, so I've got a little bit of time yet to read it, is The Henna Artist. Again, I've had my eye on this one for a while and I'm. it will be my second historical fiction for the month and I'm really, really excited for it. And it is not a World War II white-focused uh, historical fiction. So I'm also very excited about that. It's 1950s. In Jaipur. And then finally, finally, I hope to read <laughs> through volume 11 of Silver Spoon. So I am currently on volume 6 and I have through 11 borrowing from a friend so I do need to get through these to return them to him. Uh, but they, you know, manga doesn't take too long to read so I honestly think I need to just like sit down for a day or two and just read through them all and I'm very excited for that. I just want to say that it is AAPI, which is Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Um, I did not really think about that when I put together my TBR, but I do have, but I do have a couple of books written by AAPI authors and so I'm very excited and I really want to especially prioritize those books to read during this month. So, yeah, that's a lot of books. <laughs> so many books. And this, that's only like half of what I want to read this month. So I am going to stop filming so that I can hurry up and get reading to them. But thank you very much for watching. I know it was a very short video, but I just wanted to speed through it all. Let me know if you're participating in any readathons this month. Um, I am very excited. All these readathons sound super fun and interesting for me. So I'm excited to participate in them. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Otherwise, subscribe. I make videos on Sundays and Wednesdays and hit the bell to be notified when I post so you don't miss anything. I also have bookish social medias linked down below so you can catch up on if I am actually reading these books and how that is going on a more daily basis. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.